Salutations. In this video, we're going to go over how to add invoices for new vendors in HIA. So we have our sample invoice over here for Avengers Hotel Marvel LLC. So I'm going to go to Payables, then New Bill. Okay, I'm going to start typing in Avengers. And as you can see, there's no results. So I'm going to hit this pencil. The vendor ID and the vendor class are all going to auto-populate, so we come down to account name. Okay. And if it has two lines that need to print on the check, you can put the second one here. And you can either type or you can copy-paste from your invoice. State, it's going to auto populate a list and you'll just select from that list. Okay. If there's a contact, you can add them here. And then on the financial tab, we're going to see the terms. So this is net 15, so we can go ahead and set that. So every time we add an invoice for Avengers Hotel, it's going to auto set the terms to event to net 15. Okay, and payment, if uh, it was something other than check, ACH, uh, credit card, we could put that under payment method. So we're going to leave that as it is. If we had a any other information, we're going to go ahead and save this first and go to the location and we're going to open the location. So under the location, we can add our account number if we have one under payment. We're going to hit override and it's this account reference number. And this prints on the check as well. And then if we have a default GL code, we can put it right here in expense account. And if we didn't know the number, we could type in the description and it would pull up a list. Okay, so now we're gonna save this on the location and we're gonna close that as well as the vendor tab. And now we're going to try typing it in again. And there we go. Avengers Hotel is now an option. Net 15, it pulled in. So now we're going to set our invoice date. Okay. And we actually want this to be in the next accounting period. So as you can see, it's given us a little exclamation point, but it's not a red X. It's just letting us know that these two are different. So now we'll put our invoice number in. Again, you can either type it or copy paste. This description line here prints on the check. So whatever you wanted to put there. Okay. And then the amount of the invoice. Okay, and as you can see, it's saying that it is out of balance. So if we were having trouble balancing, we could go actions and hold. That way we can still save it. All right, and so I added a new line. It auto-populated the accounting charges GL, which is what I wanted it to do. And now this is the GL description. Again, you can just copy and paste it. And we're putting the line charge here. Okay. And we can remove the hold. And you can see that the red X is gone, so it's now balanced. To add the backup, we can either drag it and drop it, or go Files, Browse. And you can upload a variety of different documents, PDF, Excel, Word, PNG, GIF, the only thing you can't upload is a zip file. So you'll want to unzip it before you upload the file. And if we click here, 
we can see that it uploaded correctly. Okay, so now we could release the invoice and it would be ready to be paid. So that is how you add invoices for new vendors in HIA.